What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself, baby. All right, this video, I didn't even know what I was gonna do this video, but I said, you know what? Let me, let me, let me do this video. Nobody cares about artists. Now, why am I saying that? Well, I had to really think about it, and just the fact that since I've been doing what I've been doing through the channel and been taking that more seriously, helping educate artists and helping them move along the way, like at scale. I've been hearing a few things. One thing, and I was only like two videos in when I started hearing this was, yo, bro, don't give game away for free. Like you, you do what you do and you work with who you work with, like you good. You can make so much more money from charging people. And then the other thing, like when I talk to people again and again and ask them, how come you don't talk about this or how come you don't put that out there? And how come you don't build your own like channel or things like that? And people say again and again, there is no money in music education. Like there's a lot of money when it comes to these colleges and just other forms of education, but people don't believe there's money in education. Now one, some of it's the artist's fault, but then it goes back to, you know, the industry as a whole as well, right? Because one, artists a lot of times have this mentality that they don't need to be educated or they don't want to learn all this stuff. Why would I learn all this stuff when I could just have somebody do it for me, right? I just need to find a person and they are gonna wave the magic wand, they're gonna change my life. That's kind of a mentality that a lot of artists still have to this day. Even when you're giving out right information, artists are skeptics because they're going off of, you know, just, I guess, bad experiences, whatever it is. I know I've had videos where I could either talk to the person or be a part of the situation, then I put it out and then all kind of people are just saying the BS that they say. I know I've personally either been a part of a situation at times or have talked to people directly and then when I put a video out, people will literally be like, nah, that's not happening, it happened this way. And it's like, all right, cool, whatever, believe what you wanna believe. But at the end of the day, one of the big reasons I'm even doing this video is really more so out of a frustration because I see like this thing on both sides because there's literally, believe it or not, so many people that actually do wanna educate artists but they feel like people don't value it. Like you give away a lot of information for free and they, they don't either value you or they just don't put the stuff to you so they don't value the time that's been put out. And I've seen it again and again, that's, that's pretty much proven, right? And not even just in the music industry. And then you have this part of the industry where they really don't want artists to be educated because then they would not be able to take advantage of the artists, right? The people wanna keep you in the dark so they can do what they do without having to hide or work too hard to scam you or scheme you. But on the other end, you got these artists at the same time that don't wanna be educated or they, they don't wanna spend that time on those things or they just don't appreciate people putting that kind of information out there. That is a real thing. And then of course, I run across plenty of artists that put that stuff to work and you see them go do it, right? And it's beautiful when I see that. But that's not necessarily most artists. There's still a lot of artists that want to get in contact with one person and hope that person changes their life. That's the mentality that's been put out there. Some of it's been enabled by the music industry, just keeping artists in the dark. Hey, we're going we're gonna to handle all this business stuff. You just focus on the art, right? You just be in the studio all day. You just smoke, you know, stay, stay drinking. Uh, what do you like? You like girls? What, you, what kind of drugs you like? Yeah, we'll give you all that. We'll give you all that good stuff. And you... You stay in your delusion over here, just be all artistic and we gonna handle the money and all these relationships and things that go on. Tough, but it be that way. So I do wanna say just for artists and just, you know, anybody trying to come up in general because there's managers, PR people, there's so many different, you know, positions that yes, there's so much more information out there than it's been before, right? And it's a great thing, it's a beautiful thing. Use that information, take in that information, but then there's still layers, right? There's gonna be things that aren't going to be just on the internet. Right, and there's gonna be in the closed environments and then you're gonna, you know, membership clubs or mastermind groups or just people in their circle with their homies. And then there'll be other forms of business though that you can research still. It doesn't have to all be music. And as a matter of fact, you'll benefit yourself if you don't just research music, you look at business as a whole, entrepreneurship as a whole, especially for indie artists, and then build that way. Because the more that you're just looking to do music, right, and not necessarily be in control of other things, the more you'll have to just be reliant on your income and have to you know be stuck within that game and doing all the things within that game versus looking at somebody like Nipsey Hussle 
a large reason he was able to stay out of being signed for so long and wait out being able to do it his way was because he was building business the way he was building business, right? So he was able to invest in things, get money back after that money flips and then invest it into his music, but then still keep investing in other things where that money was continuously flipping, getting that income and putting it towards other stuff. Then you have people like Chance who's had investors or just certain connections. Like there's, the money has to come from somewhere. Put it that way, right? The money has to come from somewhere. And those people who really desire to be independent, 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 you're gonna need to be able to have some entrepreneurial sense and make sure you have income coming from other places, right? Building your own type of business. Maybe you build that other type of business first, right? If there's so many artists that have businesses on the streets, right? You're, you're hustling, you might be slanging something on the corner, then why not be able to have your own graphic design business and get money that way or tech business and, and get money that way and then flip. It's all the same thing. The money is what you're trying to get at the end of the day to fund yourself or you get an investor, but Educating yourself, not on just this music industry stuff, one, will help you and help free you up, but two, bringing it all back to just the fact that it's not in everybody's interest to educate artists. It just isn't. And nobody necessarily cares. You complain about these things, but certain mentalities people prefer to keep in place. And a lot of artists seem to prefer to go that route anyway, especially the this one person is going to be my savior mentality where you end up getting scammed. This looks like a great deal and you get scammed. That video, you know, I know I was just ranting and a lot of it, but there was a lot of important things that I really wanted to get off my chest and I was just thinking. So I was like, hey man, let's put up the camera because it's important, man. Like y'all got to realize everybody doesn't care about artists out here. Everybody doesn't care about music and even the ones that do are having a hard time doing it because how artists are acting or responding to it on one end. And then just because, you know, there isn't that much money in it because it makes it harder because a lot of people are saying, yo, this thing costs $10. It's a lot of money. This thing costs $50 or $20 or whatever. And it's a lot of money, but you're not trying to invest in yourself, right? You, you have to invest in your education. You, you expecting people to do everything for you for free. Like that, that's why a lot of people don't even want to help, all right? It's just so, I could go on that for days and days, I'm not. So, as always, this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself, and if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it, and if you're not, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.